Patrick Harmon was a 50-year-old black man living in Utah, in Salt Lake City. He's originally a St. Louis native, as you'll see uh, in some of our coverage uh, in this story. Uh, and he was acting a little bit erratically. He was on his bicycle, and, and cops pulled him over. Um, people wonder why there's a Black Lives Matter movement, why uh, players in the NFL are protesting systematic police abuse. Well, this is part of the reason why. Now, I'm going to show you a video here. If you're queasy, this is not the video to watch. Um, if you care about what's actually happening in America, then you got to see this. But here, the warning is very specific here. The man you're going to see here, Patrick Harmon, uh, is in the last minutes of his life, the last seconds of his life. Uh, and I want you to pay attention to when he runs away and what happens. Because I'm going to read you afterwards what the police claimed happened and how they said it was incredibly clear that Harmon was about to threaten their life. But you're going to see the actual video for yourself with your own eyes here. So here's what happened. Patrick, you know, you already know about your warrant, right? Okay, well, let Okay, I, I believe that. But I need you to take your backpack off for me, okay? Take, take your backpack off for me. Priority shots fired. Start medical. Okay, come for a moment. I got him. <laughs> hey, firm. Start medical. Shots fired. We got one. Two, three. seconds when he's shot and bleeding out and they handcuff him anyway they already took the backpack off they already knew he had no weapons but no nope, that's not what the police say so let me tell you uh, how it went down here on Wednesday as CNN reports after a seven week investigation the Salt Lake County District Attorney concluded the officers use of deadly force was justified because the officers said they feared Harmon was going to hurt them according to a letter the district attorney sent to the Salt Lake County Sheriff and the city's police chief detailing his investigation into oh, praise it to you how about Shimmy on Shah it's Manatazak just gonna read two scriptures and end it on this this is let me start at Zechariah 11th chapter, 5th verse, whose possessors slayed them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that seldom say, blessed be the Lord, for I'm rich, and their shepherds pity them not. I know I even have to break this down. So just a quick lesson. I'm going to jump back to Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppressor make, maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. So once you, again, all praises to Yahweh by Simeon Shai. This will, we at the end times of the so-called white man, with his biblical name is Esau, and they are the Edomites. We are the true Israelites, so-called African Americans, uh, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Um, I just want to give our res uh, reverence and honor to the apostles of Great Millstone and all the Akiyam. Putting this, pushing this truth in sincerity and even the other camps. Keep exposing this devil. They're exposing themselves right now. Uh, but our oppression is almost over. And our big brother, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ, which is a so-called black man, he comes from the tribe of Judah, and he's coming back to redeem us from um, this captivity, this hell that we're in. Um, but we're watching the prophecies. We're almost out of here, brothers. Shalom.